hanging out in his jacuzzi. <laughs> Some cold Coca-Cola, and we basically just talk about anything. Uh, and uh, oftentimes we would look at each other and, and wonder what our future held for us and what our lives would be like and our kids and whether we'd live next to each other. And, and, and in those moments, we would often uh, consider what our lives would be like, like I said. And we would uh, say things like, oh, well, they'd have to be very smart, intelligent, and independent, and beautiful, of course, and wonderful. And we list off all these traits and characteristics. Um, fortunately for me, I, I had all of my expectations met. And it seems like Brian did also. Uh, so it's, it's good to see that uh, um, those expectations were met. Um, unfortunately, I, I moved to Wisconsin about six years ago for graduate school, and so I haven't really seen much of Brian or Amber, and so it's a little embarrassing for me not to have any stories with both of them in it. However, that being said, the few minutes or hours that I, I have known Amber, um, I can see that you're a very, very warm person and humble. Um, and kind and intelligent. So, and I, I picked that up right away. It's very blatant. Uh, so it's, it's very obvious to me that you two are an incredible match. Um, so what I can tell you, Amber, is that what I do know of Brian is that he is um, the most kind and caring person that I know. I truly mean that. Uh, he's obviously been through many tragedies in the past few years. And um, what Brian is not thinking he is not someone who puts his family or friends first. That's, that's who he is. So that's what you can expect in the future. Um, he will always put you first, always, above anything. Um, so have, have fun and start a family. Yeah. Can you just uh, offer a toast to Brian and Amber? It's a wonderful life. Grow old together, okay? All right? Yes. Love you guys. Yes.